Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr and I'm your host. Today's guest is Dave Ward, and Dave is actually our first second time guest. Welcome back, Dave. Thank you. So let's talk about the latest in Spot instances. So Spot has some really exciting things coming out, actually today, hopefully. Uh, and uh, a couple of different things that we're coming out with. First is that we're, we have integration with some of our major services. So we have integration with auto scaling, cloud formation, um, and as a part of that, as a part of the cloud formation uh, new additions, we're adding three new templates. So um, the first is uh, a uh, asynchronous template. So it allows you to put a message in a queue and process that. Um, so your instances will scale up and down uh, as you need them. Um, the second is called Bees with Machine Guns. Ooh, which scary. <laughs> scary, very scary. Uh, so this actually does some great load testing against your website. And then the third is Star Cluster, which is one of our favorite open, open source tools uh, that basically uh, is built on top of Oracle Grid Engine and allows you to scale up and down for grid processing. So what is integration of spot plus auto scaling? What does that give for our customers? So now uh, what you can do is actually add a bid price to that auto scaling group. So uh, it means that you can actually start an entire group of spot instances uh, that will be managed by auto scaling. So you get a scale up and down based on the size of your queues. You get to uh, just get all the great uh, wonderful features of auto scaling, even notifications if you wanted them. From there. Okay, so I can choose to scale only when it's economically viable to do so based on the price that I entered into that auto scaling group. Exactly, okay. exactly. And can I change that programmatically over time to kind of reflect changing conditions? So um, you can reset your, your actual value by changing your launch configuration. So you can add a different, uh, you can cancel your old launch configuration and add in a new uh, launch configuration with a different price, which is effectively modifying that. Okay. Right? So I can effectively then say auto scale when needed and when it's economically reasonable to do so based on my determination of how worthwhile it is to add additional processing power. Exactly, and then you can add custom metrics into CloudWatch and actually scale based on those, which is a normal auto scaling feature. So you have all the great tools of auto scaling already available to you. Got it. Okay, so bees with machine guns. Um, so bees with machine guns. Kind of great pictures in my head. What, what does that really mean? Um, like? So what it, this is a really interesting template just because there's a lot of people performing testing with Spot right uh, today. And um, website testing is one of those great use cases where you can imagine that over time you're going to want to throw in more and more computational power against um, a website to test it for load. So um, this template basically will automatically start up a certain number of instances and scale them up uh, to, to throw, uh, throw requests against a website and kind of uh, scale with you so you okay. can test your website. Now do I have to put the, my bid price into the template or is that a parameter to the template? Uh, it's a parameter to the template. So I just go to the console, I select the template, I fill in the price from the, the little form that the, temp, the console shows me, and away I go? And away you go. Okay. All right, so we had that one. We had the one that was um, An based on, on queues. Okay, yep. tell us a bit more about how that works. So the way this one works is that um, you have an SQS queue, and you have an auto scaling group configured to scale up and down based on the number of requests in your uh, in your queue. And so um, as you're working through this, uh, you basically the messages you put onto the queue have three parameters. The very first parameter is going to be uh, the uh, S3 bucket where your executable lives. The second is that any of the data that you want to process from that S3 bucket, it will automatically be copied to your, uh, copied to your spot instance. And then the third thing is uh, the output of where you want your um, results actually copied to. Ah. And so you provide those three things in your message to your SQS queue, um, and you can put as many of those as you want, and you'll scale up and down as you need. Almost like a standard in and standard out, kind of but at the at the system level rather than the process level. So you basically take all this data from S3, launch an instance at the appropriate spot price when you can, yep. process it, take the results, send those back, and, and you're all done. Yep, so this is a great template so you can get started really, really simply. Deploy this um, you know, just by uh, a couple of clicks of the button, and uh, it's a very powerful template just because you can imagine you could upload uh, things like rendering programs to it and say, here's the data that I want to render into a different format and put it into this bucket when you're done, and just load it all up, let it all process, yeah. and it will do it really cheaply. I actually spent a lot of time coding up all the infrastructure myself, so now you've replaced that with a template. Yeah, we tried to simplify okay. it. Okay, right. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, so now what we're really showing then is we're showing two really powerful AWS features. We're showing spot instances and we're showing CloudFormation templates. And you've kind of taken, done the peanut butter plus the chocolate, put those together, and now people are able to use those both together. Exactly. Got exactly. It. Okay. So one of the exciting things is that we want to open this up to the community. There's uh, a lot of great opportunities to do great cloud formation templates. Okay. Well, thanks again for coming, and we'll look forward to having you yet again as a guest because I know for sure that there's other cool spot things coming, and for we'll sure. look forward to chatting about those. Sounds thanks good. so much for coming, Dave. Thanks again for watching the AWS Report.